Hello, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. If you've never met me before, or if you have, my name is Laya. If you want to take a moment to check in, let me know how you're feeling today, maybe with an emoji. Maybe you rather consider how you feel from one to 10. And you could check in in the chat or you could check in for yourself. It's super important to take the time, I find, throughout the day to ask myself, how am I doing? Like, what do I need? If you've taken class with me before, um, you know that we kind of go with the flow as in, I will be offering you different options and I invite you to choose what works for you best. That's the joy of practicing online is that there's no person next to you that you have to copy. There's no teacher trying to tell you what to do with your body, like tell you what to do with your body or even better, let your body do what feels good once you get to that level of proprioception. Coming to the practice may be even enough to know how is my proprioception today, right? Like how, how able am I to feel what's happening in my body, in my mind, in my energy? What's my capacity for dealing with what's going on? What's my capacity for loving myself today? I think that's what's important about having a daily yoga routine. We're gonna be flowing a little bit, moving a little bit, breathing a lot for about 30-ish minutes. So grab your yoga mat. I have one of these travel mats. I don't know if you can see, but it is a travel mat, which means it's super mega thin. It's excellent because it folds up and I can take it anywhere. And it's also not as for forgiving on the joints. Do what works for you with the equipment that you have. So there are postures that today I may be modifying because I don't want to break my kneecaps. You know, this is a hardwood floor. Know that when there's pain, it's not, ah, let's just push through. Pain is there to let you know, hey, pause for a moment, re-examine. Same as sensation, although sensation sometimes it's interesting to be in and push through. Pain is a different story, right? And I think it's important to learn the difference. Bring yourself to your yoga mat. If you have one, if you don't have one, just find a surface that is somewhat stable at the same time as somewhat supportive. So bring yourself to lie down on your back and you could stretch your arms and your legs and take up space. You could also bring your feet flat to the ground, a little bit wider than your hips and then allow your knees to rest away one another. Lengthen through your spine and perhaps your hands rest on your body or you could also take them to the sides. And just take a moment to arrive, maybe moving your head a little side to side or stretching out. Just consider what you need to do right now to let you find stillness for a few moments. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Two more times like that. Inhale, fill up your body. Exhale, relax. One more deep breath in. This time as you exhale, maybe you make sound. <sighs> Let yourself relax toward the ground, even if it's just 1% more. Arriving into your day or into this moment, into your practice. Aware of the sounds around you, aware of the life around you, but committed to letting it go just for a little bit as you focus on you. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Notice your back body on the earth. Begin to stretch your arms overhead as much as you want. Perhaps extend your legs away from you. Give yourself a full body stretch. Yawn if you wanted to, breathe in. And as you breathe out, draw your right knee toward your chest. Your left leg could remain extended or you could bring your left foot on the floor. Just notice what brings you more stability here. And then interlace your hand under your right thigh. On your inhalation, extend your right leg as little or as much as you want. Doesn't have to be a lot. And as you exhale, bend your knee again. Again, inhale to extend as little or as much as you want. Notice the difference between flexing your foot, leaving it limp or pointing it. Exhale, bend your knee. One more, inhale to extend to the right leg as little or as much as you want. And exhale to bend your knee. Now cross your right ankle 
over your left knee. So if your left leg was extended, bring your left foot to the floor now. And on your inhalation, draw your right knee out, creating a figure four with your legs. You can stay here. Notice the sensation that arises. Perhaps you move your hips a little side to side, noticing what happens there. And for some folks, it may help to lift your left foot off the floor. Perhaps thread your hands through and catch your left leg, but notice that that's not the end goal. The end goal is to find a sensation that works for you. So do that. No more, no less. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, if you lifted your left foot, lower it back down to the ground, uncross your right leg. Bring both feet flat to the floor with your knees facing up toward the ceiling. Arms next to your body with your palms down. Notice your back body as grounded as possible. And you can stay here or on your next inhalation, start to lift your hips off the floor, opening to the front body as your chest lifts up toward your chin. Deep inhalation. And on your exhalation, if you lifted your hips, slowly lower them all the way back down. Now hug your left knee into the chest. Right foot can remain on the floor, or you could choose to start to extend your right leg, whatever feels best for you right now. And then interlace your hands or bring the hands under your left thigh and stay here if the sensation is sufficient. Or start to play with inhaling as you extend your left leg a little or a lot. And as you exhale, bend the knee. Two more times, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to extend. And exhale to bend. If your right leg is extended, start to bend the knee and then cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Stay here or draw the knee open until you find a sensation that works for you. Maybe create a little bit of movement side to side. Or if you rather, lift your right foot off the floor and thread your hands through to catch your right leg. But notice, what is your breath like? Can you let it matter more than anything else right now? One more inhale. And on your exhalation, if you were moving, stop the movement. If your right foot is lifted, lower it down and cross your left foot. Bring both feet to the ground. You could keep your arms next to your body again as you lift your hips and inhale. Or perhaps this time as you lift your hips, your arms also sweep up. And on your exhalation, lower your hips, lower your arms all the way back down. Start to lift your feet off the floor, drawing the knees toward your chest. And for some people, the legs themselves can be enough. You could keep your arms on the floor next to you and then maybe you move a little side to side. You could bring your hands once again underneath the knees and then move side to side. Your hands could be on, on over the shins. Either way, just notice if movement or stillness is what's, what works for you right now and do just that. Breathe. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your feet to the floor, bring them wider than your hips this time, so maybe as wide as your mat. And take your arms out, maybe in a T or maybe in cactus, whatever you have space for or whatever feels best for you. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, surrender your knees toward the left. They don't have to go very far. Maybe your gaze goes a little bit to the right. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, move the knees to the right and let your gaze go a little to the left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Inhale, through center. Exhale, knees to the right, gaze to the left. Come back to the midline as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, once again, let your knees rest toward one another. Notice if your low back is really arched here, press it down toward the earth a bit more. Press the outer edges of your feet into the earth a bit more. Inhale. Exhale. Heel toe your feet toward one another. Roll yourself toward either side. 
Maybe use your bottom arm as a pillow as you curl into a little bit of a child's pose here. Or not a child's pose, but a fetal pose rather. And then once you're ready, you can start to press yourself up and come into a seated position of your choice. If you have a blanket or a block or something to elevate your hips, feel free to sit on it. Take a moment to roll your shoulders back and down, lengthen your neck, inhale. Exhale, bring your right ear to the right shoulder. Come back through center as you breathe in. Breathe out, take the other ear toward the shoulder. Back through center, inhale, take your arms out and up. Interlace your hands overhead, flip the palms toward the sky and allow your elbows to remain soft or extended. It's whatever works for you. Take a deep breath in. Feel the length from the sitting bones through the arms all the way through the heels of the hands. And then on your exhalation, lean just a little bit toward the left, opening the right side body. Maybe your gaze goes over to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Back through center as you inhale again, ground through the sitting bones, feel the length. And on your exhalation, lean a little bit toward the right as you open up to the left side body. Breathe. And on your next inhalation, come back through center. And as you release your hands and bring your arms down, circle your hands. You could make fists instead if that works for you. And on your inhalation, take your arms all the way back up, switching the direction of the circles. Unite your palms overhead, deep breath in. And on your exhalation, draw your palms together in front of the heart as if you were drawing the energy down, down, down in front of the heart and into it. Now on your inhalation, keep your palms together and send them forward. Open them up, lift your chest. Lift your gaze perhaps as well. And on your exhalation, take both arms forward and let your spine round. Palms unite again. Inhale, lift your chest. Keep your hands together as you lift them overhead. Exhale, draw your hands in front of the heart. Extend your hands forward again. Open them up, lift your chest, breathe in. Squeeze your shoulder blades toward one another. Breathe out, take your hands forward, round your back and gaze down toward your navel. Keep your palms united. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, this time flip the backs of the hands to touch or to face toward one another. And then slowly, as if you were moving your hands through honey, bring your hands all the way back down, creating this gentle resistance. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Let your shoulders relax. For some folks, you may have to take your hands a little further back to bring the fingertips to the floor. It yeah, depends on the length of your arms. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale, noticing the energy from the earth rising up and up and up. Exhale, imagining that same energy coming back down, down, down toward the earth. One more inhale. And exhale. Start to bring yourself toward a tabletop position, hands and knees. If like myself, the surface that you're on is not as forgiving, you could use a blanket or you could pinch your mat, double fold it, and then place your knees there. Bring your hands to the floor underneath your shoulders, knees about hips distance apart, and just take a moment to move a little bit side to side here. Just noticing how that feels for your body. Letting your shoulders and your neck get involved. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Move your knees slightly back and your chest slightly forward and then lower yourself all the way down to your abdomen, keeping your hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows straight back. Press the front body onto the earth and on your inhalation, slowly lift your chest. It doesn't have to go very high. Just engage the back body. Exhale, slowly lower down. Two more like that. Inhale to slowly lift and open. Exhale to lower down. One more, breathe in. 
Breathe out slowly, lower down, make a pillow with your hands and stay here. Or perhaps slide your right knee out to the side, creating kind of a right angle with your right leg, bringing the inner right leg to the floor. You can stay here or bring your hands under your shoulders. And again, as you inhale, you slowly lift. And as you exhale, perhaps you lower. You could also stay up for a while. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Make a pillow with your hands, right leg next to the left. Take a moment to maybe wiggle your hips. Notice how you feel, breathe in. Breathe out. This time, slide your left knee out to the side, creating a right angle with your left leg. For some folks, it may be nice to stay here and breathe. For some folks, it may be nice to bring the hands under your shoulders and do three waves up and down, breathing in. Breathing out as you lower. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. One more, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands to make a pillow. Left leg meets right. Stretch out. Breathe into the back body as you inhale. And exhale. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, or if you wanted a little bit of a deeper back bend, you can bring your hands a little bit further back toward the hips. Squeeze the elbows back in, and on your inhalation, lift your chest. Maybe lift it a little more this time. You could even lift your thighs off the ground and energize a bit more. Maybe you let yourself gaze over one shoulder and then the other. And then from here, you can choose if you bring yourself to a tabletop, or perhaps you tuck your toes and you lift your hips up and back and you come into downward dog. Feel free to pedal out your legs if you're in downward dog. Feel free to create movement into the spine if you remain in child's pose. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more cycle of breath at your own pace. And eventually find stillness whether you're in your tabletop or your downward facing dog. Inhale, take your right leg behind you, especially if you're in tabletop, maybe your toes stay on the floor, otherwise they may float. In down dog, they kind of have to float. <laughs> breathe in. And as you breathe out, draw your right knee toward your chest, shift your weight forward toward the hands a bit more, and then bring your right foot between your hands. For some folks, it may go almost on its own. For some folks, you may want to grab your ankle with your hand and give it a little bit of help. Your fingertips could remain on the floor. They could rest on your right thigh. If you have blocks, great place to use your blocks underneath your hands. If you have furniture near you, great place to use it if you want to, yeah? Draw your right hip gently back and your left hip gently forward. And perhaps for some people it helps too on your inhalation, just go back a little. And on your exhalation, surrender forward a bit more. But let that be almost a subtle movement. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale, and exhale. You could stay here, continuing to notice the distraction of the right hip going back and the left hip going forward to create more stability. Or on your inhalation, take your arms out and up, unite your palms. And on the exhalation, bring your hands together in front of your heart. And we already did this movement, so you may remember it. Keep your palms together, inhale, take your arms forward, open them up, perhaps your chest lifts. And on the exhalation, take your arms forward, round your back, and maybe you move your hips a little bit back. Your stability can get wonky here. That's okay. Can you be playful? Inhale, take your arms straight up again. And on your exhalation, frame your right foot. Bring your right leg back into your tabletop, or if you rather, your downward dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. From whatever shape you're in, whether it's downward dog or tabletop, on your inhalation, begin to lift your left leg. And on your exhalation, draw your left knee toward your chest, toward your nose, shift your weight forward, and start to plant your left foot between your hands. 
If your right knee is lifted, lower it down. Take a moment to notice where you want to go here. If your hands remain on the floor or climb up to the thigh or a wall or your blocks. And perhaps you remain here still. Perhaps on your inhalation, you gently pull back. And on the exhalation, you gently surrender forward. Two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Stay with your hands supported or on your inhalation. Take your arms out and up. Perhaps your gaze follows. Palms unite overhead. And on your exhalation, draw your hands in front of your heart. Keep your palms connected. Inhale, reach both arms forward, then open them up. Lift your chest, find space. Exhale, take your arms forward, round your back a little, maybe your hips press gently back. Inhale, find your Anjaneyasana, your lunge again, arms overhead. Exhale, frame your right foot with both hands, or your left foot rather. Take your left leg back to meet the right. Maybe you find a tabletop, maybe you find a down dog. For some people, you wanna, may want to take your knee plant as you breathe in, lower down as you breathe out. Inhale, lift your chest into a gentle back bend. And on the exhalation, start to bring your big toes together and your knees wide. Send your hips back toward the heels as little or as much as you want. You don't have to go all the way back. And then perhaps you make a pile with your fists to take your forehead there, or your hands are your pillow or your block. Let yourself notice what you notice here. Perhaps you become aware of certain physical sensations, but also notice the inner dialogue. Become aware of the flow of energy. What is your capacity for being aware of you right now? One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Slowly press yourself up to your tabletop or your downward dog. We're gonna meet at the top of the mat, so you can get there however you want to, yeah? From down dog, perhaps you start to walk, perhaps you hop. If you are in tabletop, you can step one foot forward and then the other. Start to bring your hands to your shins or your blocks. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. And on your exhalation, bend your knees enough that you can truly let your entire upper body surrender and become a little bit heavier and more relaxed. Your abdomen rests toward the thighs. Maybe you sway a little back and forth or side to side. Breathe. One more inhale. And exhale. Start to rise up. Take your arms out and up. Take a deep breath in. Now grab your right wrist with your left hand as you find a little bit more length. Inhale. Exhale, take your hips a little bit to the right and your arms to the left. Come back through center, switch wrists, lengthen, inhale. And on your exhalation, hips press toward the left and your arms as time go to the right. Back through center as you breathe in. Breathe out, open your arms out to the sides, release them next to your body. And just give yourself a moment perhaps to bring your feet about hips distance apart. Lift your toes off the floor, spread them wide if that's something that your toes do and let everybody's toes do that. And then slowly place them back down. Notice if your knees are rigid or locked, soften them just a bit more. Maybe your gaze softens, maybe your eyes close. And let yourself start to gently sway. And not everybody's swaying is the same, so Maybe I'm swaying back and forth and you rather sway side to side. For some folks, the arms may hang heavy on the sides. For some folks, you may start to notice that your arms want to kind of just flop around and move. But either way, let your breath be what matters. Let everything else just be secondary. And if it feels odd to move freely, that's okay. Just know that it feels odd to move freely. And I tend to consider that how I do anything is how I do everything, meaning where else in my life does it feel odd to move freely? Breathe in. 
spread it out. Let the movement slow down. Let it stop. Not a moment before that you want to stop it. Perhaps bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your abdomen. Taking a deep inhalation through the nose. And out through your nose or your mouth. Sweep your arms out and up. Inhale, arms come together. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward, relax your head down. Lift your chest up, inhale. And on your exhalation, plant your hands, set both feet back, lower yourself all the way down to your abdomen. And bring your left ear toward the floor. As you stretch your left arm out like a T, so straight up from the shoulder, extend your left arm. Right hand remains underneath the right shoulder. Bend your right knee as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, roll toward the left until your right foot lands be behind you. Notice the difference between pressing with your right hand a bit more or a bit less. One more breath. And then slowly lower yourself back down to your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands for a moment or Perhaps you right away bring the arms down and switch sides with the ears. Just notice what feels best for you. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now the right ear is on the floor. Right arm stretches straight out, palm faces down. Left hand flat under your left shoulder. Bend your left knee as you breathe in. And stay here or start to roll toward the right as you breathe out. So our shoulders stretch. And a little bit of a spinal twist as well. Breathe. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly bring yourself back down toward your abdomen. Pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more, breathe in, and breathe out. Let yourself roll, kind of like, just roll, just roll to your back as easily as you can possibly let yourself do that. Maybe bring your feet to the floor for a moment, let yourself move, or maybe you roll your wrists and your ankles, just consider what gentle wiggling out you want to do. And from here, I invite you to find an inversion of your choice, meaning you could extend your legs straight up and remain here. If there's a wall near you, you can bring one hip to the wall and then pick your legs up. If there's another inversion that you want to do, I'm not going to be cueing them today, so just choose what works for you and know what you're doing to take care of yourself. So give yourself time to choose what you want, whether it's legs up the wall without a wall, Legs up the wall with a wall, or another inversion of your choosing. The intention is just to let yourself, for a moment or two, be upside down. Notice what you notice. feel complete, start to come out of the pose. If you are on the wall, you could consider staying there for your final relaxation if that works for you. Otherwise, come out of the inversion and then find your relaxation pose, which could be traditional Shavasana, extending your body into the ground, taking your feet a little bit wider than your hips and your arms a little bit wider than your shoulders, taking up space. Or you could find any other pose in which you can relax. There's nothing left to do.
if you have extra time today, I invite you to lower the volume of the app and remain here in stillness for three to five more minutes to allow for more integration. If it's time for you to move on with your day, take one more breath in utter stillness to remind yourself and your nervous system how good it can be to be present. And then slowly starting to bring movement back into your fingers, your toes perhaps. A little bit of movement of your head side to side. A little or a big stretch. And then yawn if you want to. Eventually, if you're lying down, roll to one side. Press yourself up slowly and mindfully and come to a seated posi position of your choice allowing your hands to rest on your lap or your knee and if it resonates with you we'll do a simplified version of prana apana breath work which means on the inhalation you'll simply flip your palms up and on your exhalation you'll flip your palms down it's that simple you can also choose to not do that and just imagine on your inhalation energy rising and expanding. And on the exhalation, the energy grounds, grounds, grounds and contracts a little. Inhale, palms flip up. Exhale, flip them down. Inhale to receive. Exhale to give and release. One more. After your next exhalation, if you created the movement of the hands, let it go. Return to a natural rhythm of breath. And give yourself a moment to notice how you feel physically, mentally, energetically. And to give thanks for the time you give yourself to breathe, to move, and to look inward, which is not always easy. Gosh, is it ever. <laughs> breathe in. Breathe out. A moment of gratitude by repeating within or without thank you thank you thank you and i thank you for taking this time to practice together once you're ready you can open your eyes thank you everybody i hope you've enjoyed the practice